Happy May 1st, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, the Leaf Riders Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and Party made their way through more of the Beehive. On the positive side, we gained one more Amber. We're up to 23, and we took no more damage. We're still at 10 of 17. On the downside, we failed to rescue a couple of potential bee helpers. Uh, we could have had four. We're still at two. Um, we found ourselves in the center of this floor of the beehive. And we have discovered the queen bee locked up. And that is where we left things. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Wow. That's a beautiful piece of art. Upon entering, you encounter a colossal queen bee bound to a platform with chains. Anxious worker bees encircle her, emitting buzzing sounds while her eyes fixate on you with both suspicion and trepidation. We've got a couple of things we're going to do in order here. One, convince her of your intentions, remind her persuasion, and then free her from her chains. It's a dexterity check and reminder, locksmith. We are neither persuasive <laughs> nor locksmith, so we'll see how this goes. Let's see. She hesitates to trust you after witnessing the gang member's cruelty. Convince her that you are here to help and gain her cooperation in overthrowing the gang's control. If your virtue is minus one or less, that's not us. If your virtue is three or more, that's not us. If you have honey in your inventory, take minus two penalty on this roll. That is us. Uh, if you have five or more bee helpers, gain a bonus. That's not us. So we take a minus two penalty on this. We're going to do d20 plus charisma. We got a 20. Look at that. That gives us a boon die. And that's the best result, even with the minus two. Um, 20 might be automatic success. I'm not sure. doesn't matter. Your words... Tone and body language resonate with the queen bee, and you see understanding and appreciation in her eyes. She seems to grasp your intentions and emits a gentle, approving buzz. She buzzes to communicate with the worker bees and informs them not to harm you unless you hurt her. Okay, step two. Free her from her chains. Roll d20 plus dexterity. Reminder locksmith. There are several thick and unbreakable chains locked to the queen's legs. You must continue to attempt freeing uh, until you have achieved four successes. Let's actually pull this page up. Here we go. So we've got four boxes here representing the four chains. We're going to do a dexterity roll. Thirteen. Our dexterity is plus two. That gives us fifteen. If the result is between 12 and 16, your skills as a locksmith <laughs> shine as you deftly navigate the complex locks binding the queen bee. With precision and grace, you free her from one of her chains and she gazes at you with gratitude in her multifaceted eyes. Gain one success. Try again until you have four successes. So that's one. Make another roll. Eight plus two is ten. Uh, that's not gonna be enough unless we can, we could use our boon die. We, we just need to get two more, so let's do that, because we don't have anything I think that can help us. We could try disco, um, uh, if we need to, but let's go ahead and use the boon die. What happens if we fail? Oh, we get hurt. Okay, let's try the boon die. So, we need a two or better. Oh, we don't get it. Oh, no. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, Disco. <laughs> uh, he'll give us one dexterity if we draw. I think it's a five of clubs or better. Disco. Yep, five of clubs or better for, for one, dis, one, uh, one dexterity. So... What do we get? Eight of clubs. We did it. Good job, Disco. All right. So that, uh, we just broke another lock. Excellent. So that's two. And we've used our boon die. And Disco. We can't use them anymore this page. Eleven plus two is thirteen. Uh, 
I'm not forgetting this was yeah the the honey penalty was just on this roll so we're good okay so I got 11 plus 2 dexterity 13 that's another lock broken we just need one more 17 that's it easily there's four locks broken um or four shackles once you have four successes the queen bee jubilantly shakes off the final shackle moving around with newfound freedom however her moment of relief is short-lived as her expression quickly transforms into anger fueled by her desire for revenge okay well that my friends is may 1st so we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends and the queen bee and her horde of worker bees <laughs> tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.